Imagine a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth, their massive forms casting long shadows across the prehistoric landscape. These magnificent creatures dominated the land, creating a world that was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The ground would tremble under the weight of their colossal bodies, and their roars would echo through the valleys and forests. But they weren't the only giants. The prehistoric world was teeming with a variety of enormous creatures, each playing a crucial role in the ecosystem. From the towering sauropods to the fearsome theropods, the land was a stage for these incredible beings. In the waterways, a different kind of monster lurked, a creature so formidable, it could strike fear into the hearts of even the largest dinosaurs. This was a predator that ruled the rivers with an iron grip, a beast that was as much a part of the prehistoric world as the dinosaurs themselves. This was Dinosuchus, a giant prehistoric crocodile that ruled the rivers and coastlines of North America during the late Cretaceous period. Its presence was a constant reminder of the dangers that lurked beneath the water's surface. The name Dinosuchus, meaning terrible crocodile in Greek, perfectly captures the essence of this prehistoric predator. With its piercing eyes just above the waterline, it would silently stalk its prey, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Unlike the crocodiles we know today, Dinosuchus grew to colossal sizes, dwarfing its modern relatives. Modern crocodiles, though formidable, pale in comparison to the sheer size and power of Dinosuchus. Fossils reveal individuals reaching lengths of up to 35 feet, making it one of the largest crocodilians to have ever lived. These fossils provide a glimpse into the past, showing us the true scale of this ancient predator. Its massive jaws armed with rows of sharp conical teeth could deliver bone-crushing bites, making it an apex predator in its environment. These jaws were not just for show, they were powerful tools for hunting and survival. Dinosuchus was a force to be reckoned with, a testament to the power and diversity of life that flourished during the age of dinosaurs. Its hunting techniques were both brutal and efficient, ensuring its place at the top of the food chain. Let us delve deeper into the world of Dinosuchus, exploring its anatomy, behavior, and the ecological role it played in the late Cretaceous period. Understanding this creature helps us appreciate the complexity and interdependence of prehistoric ecosystems. Join me as we uncover the secrets of this prehistoric giant, a journey back in time to an era when monstrous crocodiles ruled the waters. Through this exploration, we will gain a deeper understanding of the world that existed millions of years ago, a world where giants roamed both land and water, creating a dynamic and dangerous environment. Dinosuchus was a crocodilian, a member of a group of reptiles that have been around for millions of years, belonging to the same order as our modern-day crocodiles, alligators, caimans, and gharials. These creatures are often seen as living fossils, having changed very little over the millennia. However, Dinosuchus lived much earlier, approximately 82 to 73 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. This era was a dynamic time in Earth's history, characterized by a warm climate and high sea levels. This was a time when dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops roamed the Earth. These massive creatures dominated the land, creating a challenging environment for any predator. Although closely related to modern crocodiles, Dinosuchus possessed some distinct features that set it apart. Its adaptations were unique, allowing it to thrive in its prehistoric habitat. Its most striking characteristic was its sheer size. Dinosuchus was one of the largest crocodilians to have ever lived. While modern saltwater crocodiles can reach lengths of over 20 feet, Dinosuchus dwarfed them, with estimates suggesting lengths of up to 35 feet or even more. This immense size would have made it a formidable predator in its ecosystem. The skull of Dinosuchus was massive and robust, built to withstand the stresses of hunting large prey. Its powerful jaws could generate incredible force. Its snout was broad and slightly rounded, unlike the more elongated snouts of some modern crocodilians. This unique shape may have given it an advantage in capturing and holding onto its prey. This suggests that Dinosuchus may have had a more generalized diet than some of its modern relatives, capable of tackling a wider variety of prey. It likely fed on fish, turtles, and even dinosaurs that ventured too close to the water's edge. Its teeth were also distinctive, being relatively short and stout, but incredibly thick. These teeth were perfect for gripping and crushing rather than slicing. These teeth were designed for crushing bone, delivering powerful bites that could dispatch even the most formidable opponents. 
The bite marks found on fossilized bones are a testament to its hunting prowess. Deinosuchus was a true monster of the Cretaceous, a testament to the incredible diversity and power of prehistoric life. Its existence reminds us of the fascinating and often terrifying creatures that once roamed our planet long before humans ever appeared. Dinosuchus inhabited a world vastly different from our own. During the late Cretaceous, North America was divided by a vast inland sea, the Western Interior Seaway. This warm, shallow sea teemed with life, providing ample hunting grounds for the giant crocodilian. Fossil evidence suggests that Dinosuchus lived in a variety of aquatic environments, from freshwater rivers and swamps to coastal estuaries and brackish water environments. Its remains have been found in a wide swath of North America, from Montana to Mexico, indicating a broad geographical distribution. This wide range suggests that Dinosuchus was highly adaptable, capable of thriving in a variety of habitats. Like modern crocodilians, it was likely an ambush predator, spending much of its time submerged in water, waiting for unsuspecting prey to venture too close to the water's edge. Its powerful limbs and muscular tail would have propelled it through the water with ease, while its eyes, positioned high on its head, allowed it to scan the water's surface for potential victims. Deinosuchus was a master of its domain, a fearsome predator that ruled the waterways of prehistoric North America. As an apex predator, Dinosuchus sat at the top of the food chain, its diet consisting of a variety of prey. This massive prehistoric crocodile was a dominant force in its ecosystem, ruling the waters and the land with equal ferocity. Fossil evidence provides tantalizing clues about its feeding habits, painting a picture of a formidable hunter capable of taking down even the largest dinosaurs. Paleontologists have discovered numerous fossils with telltale bite marks, revealing the sheer power and aggression of Dinosuchus. Its massive size, powerful jaws, and bone-crushing teeth suggest that Dinosuchus was capable of tackling large prey. These physical attributes made it a fearsome predator, able to exert tremendous force with each bite, crushing bones and tearing through flesh with ease. Bite marks on dinosaur bones, matching the distinctive dentition of Dinosuchus, provide further evidence of its predatory prowess, indicating that it actively hunted and killed dinosaurs. These marks are a testament to its role as a top predator, capable of overpowering even the most formidable of foes. While dinosaurs likely formed a significant part of its diet, Dinosuchus was probably an opportunistic predator, feeding on a variety of animals available in its environment. Fish, turtles, other crocodilians, and even large sea creatures may have fallen victim to its powerful jaws. This adaptability in its diet ensured its survival in a constantly changing prehistoric world, and even large sea creatures may have fallen victim to its powerful jaws. The ability to hunt both terrestrial and aquatic prey made Dinosuchus a versatile and highly effective predator. Like modern crocodilians, Dinosuchus probably employed ambush tactics to capture its prey. It would use its environment to its advantage, lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. It would lie in wait submerged in water, its dark scaly hide providing camouflage against the riverbed or murky depths. This natural camouflage allowed it to remain undetected by unsuspecting prey, making it a master of stealth and surprise. When an unsuspecting animal ventured too close to the water's edge, Dinosuchus would erupt from the water, seizing its victim with lightning speed and dragging it into the depths to drown. This sudden and violent attack left little chance for escape, ensuring that Dinosuchus remained one of the most feared predators of its time. Its hunting strategies were a perfect blend of patience, power, and precision, making it a true apex predator in every sense.